Welcome back to the Isaac Abrams Show, everybody. I'm your host, Isaac Abrams. Today's very special guest, actor, writer, producer, most importantly, stand-up comedian, and now first-time philanthropist, David Murphy. Yeah. We call right. him the Murph. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you for being I'm, here. I'm excited to be here. This is, uh, yes, for, and for at the beginning. Uh, we definitely haven't talked for an hour. Already. Yeah, we have not. I don't know anything about you. Nope. In this episode, we talk conspiracy theories, what success looks like in comedy, more conspiracy theories, religion. Yeah, religion. We cover it all. We cover it all. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Yeah. We're very eclectic we with are. our taste. Yeah, and uh, I'm now David's personal tour photographer. We just signed the contract. Yeah, I know. We're yeah. going to find out where this theater is at. Yeah, uh, on his brand new sold out <laughs> theater tour uh, coming in 2025. Yeah. That's a great episode. Check it out, guys. David, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Uh, enjoy the episode. Murph. Yes. How are you? I'm doing amazing. How I, are you? I'm so good, man. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I'm I'm excited. I feel like we were instant friends. Yes. Yeah. I photographed you at the improv. Yes, yes. Amazing photos, by the way. Thank you. Know, you. People were watching. Appreciate yeah. that. Right. Uh and then I saw you during the uh Netflix festival. Yes, yes. Ooh. Brian Simpson, a feature for Brian Simpson. Yep. Uh we were hanging was, out at the store a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. I I saw I, I got to just I guess shake hands with like a lot of big comics that i like admired so that was like it was like i've never been around so many comedians like successful comedians in one like spot it was like kind of cool yeah it's fun when new york comes to la for a whole week yeah and then everybody's together yeah i feel like yeah, i feel like uh like a cool high school yeah like, it's like oh man you ever been to skank fest no no i haven't that's like going to vegas but like hanging in new york really it's crazy it's yeah. all new york comics but you're in vegas so really? it feels and there's a couple of la Wait, guys are people doing it so the the thing about netflix is a joke that i feel like they could have done a little bit better is like the after like hang party like like having like more like uh okay here at this club or this bar that night like everybody's hanging and then like in this day this club or this place like um like bungalow in santa monica i don't know if you guys have been there but um but yeah so i know they have stuff at palladium but i didn't really go to that well the palladium's the hub right yeah that's yeah, where yeah. they got all the cameras yeah yeah yeah. that's where the big after party is and then of course the store has something every night mm -hmm. but i'm not at the point where i got that pass yeah yeah no same same same, same. there was a year where i was working with a comedian who gave me a pass mm. so i got to see all this shit <laughs> Mm. And I was like, oh, this is what it's going to look like next yeah, year yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. next year comes on. Oh, yeah, I'm like, like okay. Uh, yeah, they're trying to take over. Their, they, they seem to be trying to take over the Montreal, like, because Just for Labs, like, got Yeah, they, got, they sold it or something. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if they're, like, trying to, like, sneak in and be like, oh, we're yeah. going to make the comedy festival now. Yeah. And they're making it in Los Angeles, which would be great for I did, uh, well, I went to Just for Laughs in Toronto because mm. my headliner that I was out yeah. on the road with doing uh -huh. videography for. Yeah. Uh -huh. We were in Michigan or something. We went across the border, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, I'm gonna do a guest set at Just for Laughs. I'm yeah. like, second year doing, yeah, third yeah. year doing yeah, comedy. Yeah. This yeah. is great. And the promoter was like, "No, we already checked out the opener, but it's a two person show. That's it." And I was like, "Oh, uh, you could throw me five, throw right. me seven. Let like, me at least on, do bro. the announcements." Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Coming to the stage. Yeah. Popcorn's on sale. <laughs> uh, it's a two drink minimum. Yeah, but that's funny. That's funny. It was real close. Real, real, real close. Uh -huh. I saw I saw a Gabriel, I went to a Gabriel Iglesias show, uh, Fluffy uh, at um at the Staples Center once, and it was so amazing. Like this guy sold out Staples Center, and he had two merch breaks, merch breaks, merch breaks. People to go buy merch, like twenty minute merch breaks, like twenty five wow. minutes. Yeah, well, he's it got was, nine openers, right? Yeah, yeah. It was a long show. It was like I was like. Four people. I was like, "Geez, when is he? Gonna, when is he gonna come on stage?" Like, right. people are doing twenty minutes, fifteen, ten. Like, yeah. Joe Coy popped up, uh, mm -hmm. and, and he list. came out like a boxer, like a uh, like in his little rope. He, he made it quite a hell of an entrance. I mean, when he did Dodger Stadium, he went over by an hour. Really, I didn't know yeah. that. Oh, they wow. find him a hundred thousand dollars because after the show, he just sat on the stage drinking with his friends. Wow. So Isn't when you go over the, there's a noise ordinance, right? Wow. It's like 11 p.m. or something. Mm -mm. So he was on stage at like 11, 11.30. What a life. Huh? When you sell 55,000 tickets. Yeah, you got you to gotta sit in that for a little bit. You don't spend 100 grand. They just take it out of your check. And you're yeah. like, oh, I made 9,500,000 yeah, 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 yeah. instead yeah. of 9,600,000. Yeah. Yeah. You got, and, and it's also like, you're like, hey, sitting there with your friends at Dodger Stadium is kind of worth it. You're like, 
you only get to, yeah. how many times yeah. are you gonna get to do that? Yeah, you're like I'm gonna sit in this for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I would drive my bus onto the field. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm-hmm. He has like an 80, 100 buses or something. Like oh, I'm at tour vans. bus, but yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, he has, yeah. Uh, yeah, those he, little Volkswagen vans. Right? What a what an investment, right? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. buys them for like fifty grand, and they're worth fifty, like a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah fifty, a yeah, hundred thousand. Yeah. That's not a number. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's something when you have to like have like a warehouse where just houses your vehicles. Like you're yeah. like, oh, offsite. Like I got to drive to this place to get the car I want. Right. That's I like, think by then someone brings you. Oh yeah, you're right. Like an yeah. assistant. You're like, hey. you ever been to Jay Leno's garage? No, I've seen it on TV. But Garages. Like, yeah, that's. I heard Seinfeld has like 600 Porsches or something in New York. <laughs> yeah, which is like, how do you house six? It means he owns. Right. He's he's a quiet. I I I res- respect him and like respect his 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 ability to be a billionaire and like nobody really know like nobody really right. talk about it he, and he doesn't have like <laughs> massive security with him yeah, everywhere yeah, he yeah. he's like a quiet billionaire but like nobody really talks about hey he's a billionaire doing comedy yeah yeah yeah, yeah there's yeah. only a couple <clears throat> yeah 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 Ro- i think rogan just turned over yeah really oh wow yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah wow yeah it's like and he's still just about the, the about the the jokes and whatnot so that's like amazing i don't need a billion mm. no i not at all i'm okay yeah. I'm not in it for the long game. I don't want to be famous forever. No. I'm in no. it to get like maybe 10 or 20, and then you'll never see me again. <laughs> you'll never. never see me again. No. Yeah. I'm going somewhere warm. Yeah. You live in a hut by the beach. Yeah, I'm going I'm I'm my I'm going to I'm going to Bali myself. I'm Bali? Going. Have you been? Yeah, I was my fourth time. I'm going to go. Oh, you love it. Yeah, yeah, I love that place. It's yeah. like I get to live like a millionaire's life yeah. there in a sense. It's so it's getting more expensive now, but still I get, I can like there. I can like eat sushi five days in a row, mm-hmm. a nice sushi place, and it's Fresh. not. It's not like a. It's like twelve dollars our money. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm full. I feel good. I'm like, I, here would be a bad financial decision to eat sushi five days in a row. You'd be like, mm-hmm. are you crazy? And you probably get poison. I die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, Bali. Yeah. When's the last time you went? I went last. I've been the last September and September before that. So I went for a month last year. Went for two weeks the year before that, and then. In 2018, I went for like seven days. So I, ca- I keep getting more during this year. I'm going to go for two months. Nice. I'm gonna go. There's comedy there. Yeah. There's a comedy club or kind of sort of. They, there's comedy. They're still like starting, but it's uh they put me up. And I, I like the first night I talked to a guy. Somebody told me I was there a couple years ago. And the guy, somebody was like, hey, they have comedy. I'm going to hook you up with this guy. I messaged the guy like, hey, I'm in town. Do you know spot? He was like, do you want a headline this weekend? I go. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be like you know, twenty people, 50. I got to this place, there's like a hundred and twenty people. Yeah, all these like expats, mm-hmm. like, and I was like, "Oh, oh, like yeah." Bali's yeah. just gonna be the fifty first state. Yeah, eventually. yeah, there's so many. There's so many like there was that there. hot spot between like twenty twelve and twenty sixteen where every influencer had to buy like a big old mansion and remodel it on mm. Instagram and like, <laughs> like, hey guys. Let's see how I uh, change my Bali villa. How right. I design my Bali villa. Come with me. Yeah. Go come. Day 180. Of yeah. yeah in my exactly. new Bali condo. Yeah. 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 Like we found subscribe. these amazing ch- chairs. <laughs> right. These amazing chairs are going to put in. They're going to be great centerpiece. Like, yeah. Target sent me this new package. Like, <laughs> Target. Target. Like, you're like, yeah, that's funny. It's like, Watching rich people fake like they like the products they're pimping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pimping's probably a bad word. but Yeah, yeah. But it, that's true, though. Yeah. That the, how inauthentic people can be. Oh, like, my God. Like, yeah. I'm like, I know you don't. And it's there's this weird thing that I was with celebrity and like, or, or people who are celebrities and rich or whatever, like how humans care about their opinions on things they have not they're not specialists in Mm -hmm. so like somebody's a good basketball player and they sell watches and you're like i gotta get that watch (laughs) you're like you're like this dude does nothing he does is deals with the watches or like (laughs) i'm like why is there you never see a mechanic in a car commercial like a real mechanic like hey this guy's been doing working on bmws for the last 60 years yeah take his word (laughs) no it's always like here's antonio brown talking about right mercedes you're like okay or Hyundai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. he's not driving yeah. a Hyundai, bro. Ever. It's like players, uh, uh, basketball players in commercials when they don't like show them working out really hard or football players and they took, t- t- uh, they uh, drink a Sprite. They're like, <laughs> <sighs> I'm like, the last thing you want is a Sprite. You've been working out for four hours. It's like, <sighs> I don't even want a Sprite when I'm not. Got beads, of, <laughs> got beads of water on his side. Yeah. It's like, Oh wow! Look, he's yeah. still got his gym bag next to him. He's right. like in the gym. Like, oh my, like, come on, man, that's funny. Yeah, is that a bit? No, 
that, no, it's just like that, but that's why we're here, right? We riff mm. and we and we do mm. shit, and then all of a sudden, maybe it's like another five you get, or yeah, whatever, you know. It, and that's that's I got a a buddy. We uh, walk and like try to write stuff, help each other out, like write stuff together. But we our session, our writing sessions, or whatever you want to call them, we just walk and we talk. Uh, we just talk about life. Like, mm-hmm. what's going on with you? Man, this girl like made me so mad the other day, or, or my job, blah, blah. and it's like you find the bits and you're like, yo, what happened? And you get details, and you're like, that's hilarious. Wait, what happened? Like, right. And you're like, oh, that's a bit. You're like, that's a bit. Like, that's got to. Sometimes be good. Uh, uh, I heard it on a podcast, and I think it was, I want to say it was Neil Brennan, but I think I'm wrong. A joke or a story needs a friend, yeah, right? yeah. but not you. It needs, it needs someone to go like go with that, yeah. And then you're like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah, needs yeah. one other person, yeah. And then you're like, oh, I'm on, the, I'm on a streak here. Mm-hmm. I it's, love that idea of just like going for a walk. Like, your friends would be like, dude, that's hilarious because yeah. because so many things to you or to you know to are not that you're like it's just life, yeah. But like somebody else goes, wait, your mom did what to you when you're little, right? You're like, oh, she used to like you know. That make us dance in the living room with her for a girlfriend, and then like you're like that's hilarious. Say like, that wait, again? Yeah, 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 like wait, what? Yeah, yeah, we would like do this little stripper dance. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> there's the opposite of that though. Was your friend who thinks he's funny that's not a comedian? Oh, and he's like, oh, and he tells a dumb story, and he's like, uh, you can have that for one of your skits. Oh skips. my god, yeah, I, I have a whole oh. family doing that now. It's like the, you know, one of my my worst things comedians do sometimes is when they try to get off a bit to you, and it like. And you, they keep like just trying to do bits and like get off jokes and you're trying to have a serious conversation mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, let me see if I can get off. And I'm like, bro, I, I'm not a civilian. I can read. I see what you're doing. Yeah. I, you're trying to get off a bit. Stop. Mm-hmm. Can we just like have a? Yeah, so inauthentic. I go, bro, yeah. stop. I get. Yeah, guy. I, I know the story is a lie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know you're. I know, oh, I know you're lying. I know you're just doing this for jokes and saying this. I know this did not happen. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, that that that's one of the annoying things that happens sometimes. It's um, yeah. I it's it feels like I'm just talking about this podcast I was just listening to. I was listening to Mike Birbiglia working it out, and mm-hmm. he had Neil Brennan on it, and they mm-hmm. were talking about how like I love everybody, Neil, by the way. dude, Neil's the best. He's he's he is the best in the game with analogies, analogies to like spoon feed, a uh, big concepts to people. Right. I think like like he'll be like you know that'd be like if mm-hmm. he's like the king of that stuff yeah. like i i think he's so talented and smart and funny and all i'm the stuff. opposite of that my mm-hmm. analogies are so stupid really <laughs> yeah i can't even think you of an analogy analogies. to tell you about how bad my analogies are <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a talent they but they, i i saw a study that said that a lot of comedians are uh dyslexic i think there's a dyslexia is really big in comedians apparently yeah. and if you're dyslexic, one of the one of the traits or or I guess characteristics of it is that you are able to make analogies to stuff that most the average brain won't connect. Hmm. So when comedians like, oh, that'd be like if you go to a bar and blah blah, blah like you know, like your, your your girlfriend did this. That'd be like if an aunt like walked in, you know, like yeah. those kind of things are are bec- sometimes because our brains, people are in comedy sometimes their brains yeah. work differently, and the average person is not going to make that. Like, how'd you get? It's funny, but how mm-hmm. do you get to that? And it helps you with that hard left turn at the end of the mm-hmm. joke, right? Where like, mm-hmm. oh, because everybody wants to like call out the punchline, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. bitch, if, if I was just going to say what everybody in the room was thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. what am I, like, that wouldn't be a comedian. Yeah. They, my girlfriend they, likes to finish my sentences. Oh, really? <laughs> and it's oh, really? never what she thinks I'm going to say. <laughs> you're like, you're wrong. You tried to get, you, you tried to yeah. guess. And like, I used to watch, um, so when I first was starting comedy or like kind of wanted to do comedy, I used to watch comedy specials and I would pause. I would see the setup and I would pause and try to guess the punch line. And you'd like I, write down five answers or something. Like, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I just, I mean, I wouldn't write anything down, but I would just pause it on my TV and I'd be like, okay, all right, he's going to either say like it was his mom who was there the whole time or uh, the girlfriend he broke up with, he mentioned in the beginning of the bit, or like, or the callback to this thing. I'm trying to like see, and I was, just try to see if I like okay like I, if I'm on the right track of like where these guys brains or women's brains are at I used to try that with Anthony Jesselnik same thing yeah I taught I actually told him that I was like he was I was like bro I never could guess it ne- never not one never. time <laughs> I'm like, I never it, can get it I get so angry watching Anthony Jessel he's so good I'm like where's he and, going where's he and going? I'm like oh 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 oh, oh yeah wrong yeah. again I'm like god damn it where, I'm like 
Because you know it's going to be some kind of reversal or some kind of thing you don't expect. You're trying to guess. You still just can't. You're expecting the unexpected. And then every once in a while, he just goes, yeah, straight obvious. You're like, oh, I see that coming. You're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah." I heard somewhere he writes 100 jokes a day. Oh, that's a wow. Yeah, that's 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 insane. That's depressing. Yeah, that's that's different. That's like a... yeah, th- that's pretty. That's pretty intense. I mean, like not intense, but like great. I, mean, I think yeah. he used to write on the TV show too, or something. So he probably got yeah. used to like writing on a talk show or something. He w- yeah, I think he wrote. I could be totally wrong. I uh, am on wrong. that late night show or something. He wrote on a late night, and then I think he wrote for Tosh. Mm. And then they gave him the ans- the Jessenick offensive, and he was the head writer on his own show. Uh, so he's just been around. I mean, yeah, Tosh is funny too, dude. Have you seen his podcast? Yeah, yeah. He's he's one of my, he. I've seen him. I got to see him live once at the improv mm. like some years ago and I stole this little thing I do in my I still I stole a, a piece of what he does and uh it's I I just thought he was so great. I was like the way he like takes control of the stage when he comes on mm-hmm. it's like this really cool thing he did and I was like oh I'm stealing that. Like yeah. Yeah, he's, he's There's a thing I want to steal like it was a Steve Martin originated it. Mm. And now Dusty Slay goes, "We're having a good time." Uh, and he like touches his hat and he tells the audience, "We're having a good we're, time." We're, yeah, yeah, and yeah, he yeah, got that yeah. from Steve Martin. I heard him talk about that on a podcast. Uh, but I want to adapt adopt that in my own way, but I don't want to be like, "We're having." Yeah, yeah. I don't want to rip dust. Of it. Off. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like sometimes, like programming the audience, and like if your first bit doesn't teach them how to laugh at you, yeah, yeah, you got to program them somehow. Yeah, I heard some comedian say, um, "Who was it?" Steve Martin, I think, asked some comedian. Maybe it was on comedians' cards or something like that. But he was like, "What's your?" What's your, what's the first your first line? What's your first line? Mm-hmm. And you're like, uh, I, hey, hey, what's up? And he's like, a waste. Essentially, like you're wasting a line. Like yeah. that's a, you're never gonna get a, another chance to get a first impression to mm-hmm. make a first. So you say something fun or like you could have something that's like yeah. So I was like, oh, that's a good thought. Like because so much so some of us there's a tension when you come on stage. People don't know what you're gonna say, what you sound like, yada yada yada. So it's like. You, the tensions build up so you could you could say something that like hits really yeah. quick like a really quick laugh but sometimes i would i myself sometimes i'm like how you guys doing so yeah. then it's like and then it's like airs out and it's like yeah, yeah. i got real lucky on the road because i was doing a guest set so the feature would come out first and do 20 mm-hmm. and you always close with the same joke so after about a week i was like oh i'm gonna tag his last joke oh it was about his girlfriend having a work husband yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. but the guy <laughs> wore a leather jacket yeah, so i got yeah. myself a leather jacket yeah I, so i would he would bring me out and i'd be like give it up for justin i work with his girlfriend <laughs> and everybody <laughs> funny boom so then that's really he funny. wouldn't always be the feature yeah 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 yeah. so then it'd be like a new feature the next weekend i'd be like oh like, you're studying like, the yeah, set yeah. like what can i say yeah. when i go out there and i call them bridge jokes yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. then the the room deflates right away yeah. they're like oh it's funny right yeah on. that's a good it's in it and know it's they know it's like improv in some sense and mm-hmm. like come you know, on the spot so you're like yeah. yeah yeah that is very true you're like you're trying to find a win like a, a a window in you're like okay what can i yeah watching her set you're like all right what can i can i play off that can i play off that like in my first line yeah that's so true i saw harlan williams oh, at the amazing. laugh factory he went up after Chris D'Elia. Yeah. D'Elia's doing like this 10 minute bit about yeah. watching a guy with a falcon in a park. Oh, yeah. I love that. That bit's funny. Yeah. Well, then Harlan goes up as the guy that has the falcon in the park <laughs> and does his whole set as the guy looking at the guy watching him. And he was like making fun of Chris the wow. whole time, but not shitting on him. Yeah. Just but like, that's, that's so brilliant. That's master level yeah, shit. Yeah. Right he's, there. he's on another level. Yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. he's so quick and his, so many good comics I respect, and like they're so smart. Like they're because I'm like your IQ has to be high to be your brain to be moving. It's mm-hmm. like a like a rapper who who freestyles. It's like yeah, your brain has to be moving on, to, on a, a different clip than everybody else to like like you know keep up with. Yeah, he's 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 amazing. I heard a freestyle guy on take your shoes off Rick Glasson's podcast. Okay, okay. He had um, wait, was it Lamor when they Lamorne him freestyle? Or, so this is where it, that was the origination of the idea. Harry so, Styles was that? Yes. So okay. it was Harry, but it was Sal Volcano from um, from Impractical Jokers. Really? Okay. So he had Harry hiding behind a curtain for an hour and a half, and then he was like, "I got a surprise for you." And then he comes out and he freestyles for like five minutes. It's one of the greatest episodes really? of podcasting. He in had him history. high for an hour and a half. He had him hide on the balcony. Ah. And then he came in, and then the, it was the three of them. I mean, that's so fun. I got to look that up. It's one of the most recent episodes. It's insane. Really? It's okay. Absolutely. That, that, yeah. yeah but I was, I was bringing that up to say that, like, I, my brain does not work in 
freestyle mode. Yeah. It's but hard. It, I think it's like anything else. Like he's been freestyling every day for an hour, two hours, three hours yeah. a day for 20 years. Yeah. So like you, your brain is what you train it to. Yeah. Be. Yeah. I, I think so much of it is like, just like a so word association is like, yeah. I, I might hear a book and think of three words that rhyme with it. And the rapper might think of 15 words that rhyme. It's like, yeah, you know, cause I've seen some people and I'm like, this is insane how fast your brain is moving. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. people will probably say that about you too. Yeah, maybe some stuff. Yeah, I think the, uh, I you know what I think most people would, would be surprised about in comedy or during on stage stuff is like how you can be mid mid bit. You can be going through it like a, a, a you know a bit that's like a few minutes or whatever, and how your brain could be thinking about the next thing and editing the next like. I might be talking, saying blah, 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 but I'm like, all right, should I do that joke next? Or, and I'm gonna edit that one and cut that line. Okay, yeah, move that line first. And then, cause they like that. And that girl likes this. Like, you're thinking of all this stuff while you're just talking, 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 but it's like, you're like, okay, I'm gonna close with this one. All right, I just got the light. I got two minutes. Okay, all right, let me. Yeah. It's, it's like so amazing how our Sometimes brains. Sometimes you're just work. going through your grocery list. Yeah. <laughs> or what do you got to do tomorrow? Mm. And then you come back and you're like, oh, I just did three minutes of stand up yeah. and I was not here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you're like yeah. I I was on the road uh once and I'm like it's only it's happened to me twice on the road over the years but like uh and you ever have a time where you do so many shows and you do like you're doing a bit and like you're like three sentences maybe like five sentences in sentences in and you're like the fuck did I already do this bit on the show oh yeah because you're moving orders around each uh -huh. show and I'm like oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna open with this and then close it and but you did it's like your third show that night and you're like oh. fuck fuck yeah wait they're not and you're like oh they're not laughing oh fuck did i do this bit already yeah like oh that was that why they're not laughing you're like i've skipped the whole middle of a whole story oh, before and then, I, and then i went to the punchline and i was like and it's like yeah. it's one that always gets a laugh yeah you're like what's happening yeah. and i was like i didn't tell you about the middle did yeah. i and they're yeah. like we don't know what you're talking about and i was like let me rewind that and i did like the and i yeah, walked yeah, backwards yeah. and that yeah. got a laugh yeah, yeah and then yeah. i tried to do redo the whole joke but then you you know they're in on it by that point. Yeah, they yeah. know the punchline, so yeah, yeah. then you have to like over exaggerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest You're of like, the story. and then this app. Yeah, because yeah. it's like it's like so so often it's like doing comedy. It's like we're like uh, I like to think sometimes our jokes were like snake charmers. Like it's like the snakes like it's a rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. And if something a heckler or something, but you fuck up, you stutter or something like that, it could like it could break the the snake falls down or whatever. Yeah. Like and it's like oh, you're like oh damn it, like yeah. You, yeah. have, you just have to acknowledge what's going on in the yeah. room. Like yeah, if yeah, you yeah. stutter or fuck up or do something, yeah. you're like, wow, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. yeah just and keep the, moving. Because it makes it more original sometimes. They feel like, oh, it's like a, now it's an original. Yeah. Like we, this yeah. thing is like only only happened in this show. I think that's why people like crowd work. Mm, I agree. I don't want to see any more of it on Instagram <laughs> ever. Again. Yeah. I wonder, has it, has it, has it hit a, has it hit a, plateau or like you know the crowd work getting getting views i hope like, so because it's changing audiences yeah people are showing up thinking it's an interactive experience yeah thank you matt rife you know yeah you know what's funny is like the and i did some shows like, like like years ago in like england or london and at this little place they're more interactive they think they're post they're they think they're supposed to like mm -hmm. interact. So a lot of British people, I've, I've been at shows and seeing British dudes yelling and I'm like, oh, from their culture, they think like the comic is supposed to interact with the audience. And like, yeah. you know, it's, it's a different like take on it, which is interesting. Um, I, I did a joke the other day about Israel, Palestine at the shows, Laugh Factory. And, and, uh, and I'm like, oh, like, you know, like da da da. And, <laughs> and I'm like doing some other, start talking, blah, blah, blah. And I look back over and these two girls are like in full like and I go, I'm like you know I'm like I'm like hey I, I can hear you guys they're in front row like it's and I go movie. what are you guys talking about and they go Israel and Palestine <laughs> I go you guys are having a conversation now I'm like I'm just talking about <laughs> jokes like they're like they were having like a full on like they went into a full like I don't know what do you think like I, I feel like where are you at on it <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like I'm like no that's yeah. just these are jokes and you know how women agree with each other they have to like dance into it first yeah you know, like, well are you are you I don't know yeah. nobody wants to cave first yeah they're they're uh they're how they socialize is is, is uh interesting compared to what men do and yeah. I was watching this thing on, on body language and it was saying that how when men talk we we face each other or we, 
we'll typically like that's why we go to bars and stuff. We'll sit like shoulder to shoulder and look at look straight mm-hmm. and talk and be like, yeah, that's crazy. Da, da, da. You know, it's yeah. like, but women they're they like to face each other right. and like like you see girls at a bar, they're like really like you they, feel they turn yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, they look yeah. and they're like, all right, so. And so it's funny how men and women, like our interactions are different. We'll be like, we'll be like, man, she left you. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Looking at the TV still like, yeah. So right. like, yeah. I heard somebody, game. so this girl on a podcast, I think it was Santino's podcast this week was like, you went golfing with that dude for eight hours. And you don't know if he's still with his girlfriend. <laughs> like, yeah. No, no. What did you talk about? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Sometimes it's just nice to just dude. not talk. Yeah. We, I've had a, I had a buddy. We drove from. San Francisco, mm-hmm. and I think we maybe said maybe 30, 30 words. Mm. Like we were just that like nice. we were chilling. We're just yeah. like we're just like we we're just like drove all the way down. And we're yeah. like, man, I don't think we spoke it. He's like, yeah, I know. I've been in some comedy road trips where it's like y'all are gonna burn out before we get there. Everybody's uh, doing bits the whole way, uh, five six hours in the car. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to just save my energy up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, People yeah, are like, yeah. And then this one time, yeah, what's yeah, the deal with gasoline? Yeah, yeah. And then you're like, they get there and then they bomb because they don't have any energy. Yeah, there. yeah, that's funny, but. Uh, where do you, where do you, where do you have a favorite place you travel to? Like, or any uh, uh, cities or states you? And give me a city you hate. A city I hate for comedy. Yeah. Ooh. Or like or just in general. Boston. I've never been to Boston. So what do you hate about it? Well, the only time I performed in Boston was at a I was at MIT for the kids. Wait, wait, you it was said a college the comedy show? show? Yeah, at MIT. Yeah, it was so, pri- it was private for my headliner that I was with. Really? Yeah. So the theater held like 600 i think there was like 350 in there and it was just like uh, a it was a cash grab for the headliner yeah, yeah, yeah. MIT, and I, yeah. I just got in my head i was like they're college kids they're woke as fuck it's mit blah yeah, blah blah yeah, and i was yeah, like yeah. my fucking little dick and in, cum in jokes yeah, aren't gonna yeah, work yeah, in yeah, here yeah, yeah. and i was right oh. <laughs> but i think if you i think i could go back to boston and do well in a club yeah 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 yeah. but it's a different yeah, because you're speaking to people who haven't experienced some stuff that yeah. and their sensibilities and like i did a college show uh and I was on I was on a college show and then uh the this is this is this is this is society in a, in a nutshell the, the young kids the kids uh in college so this kid goes I go hey are you guys pretty like sensitive he was like kind of helping run stuff I go are you guys like sensitive about like politics blah blah he goes yeah he's like we um we I mean yeah we don't like poly unless you're doing Trump jokes mm-hmm. and then you're just fine I go oh so if I'm doing jokes you guys agree with then it's okay, but don't make jokes about anybody you support. And he goes, like, "Yeah, kind of, right?" Which is kind of kind of how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like if you pick a side politically, you're going to alienate half the country. Mm-hmm. Which is why I don't understand why people do that. Yeah, yeah, it's like the I was like, oh, like okay, cool, all right, okay, God. They were like, yeah, the yeah, and that's always the the tricky part as a comic. It's like finding the if you can find like that line where like like I'll do jokes about some stuff, but I never let you know like how i feel about it like mm-hmm. i was like oh like i'll, I'll, I'll play the play the right the fence like yeah statements i'll make it like yeah. really like uh duels kind of statements like yeah tim dylan's a master of that mm. if you look in his comments people think that he's a republican people think he's a democrat oh yeah he'll take 10 minutes on his podcast and shit on the right and then he'll shit on the yeah. left and he'll shit on the right yeah and then people only listen to the side that they resonate yeah. with yeah I've, I've had that too yeah this uh nice. somebody messaged me the other day they're like Two people in the same day because I was writing stuff on Facebook, Aha, Facebook, and I'm. They were like, "Are you Democrat or Republican?" I was like, "The fact you're asking me, like, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, that's I'm great. Like, I'm jealous. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I like to just. I consider myself a logical person, and mm-hmm. somebody says some bullshit, or I'm like, bro, this is bull. Like either side, I'm like, it's yeah. crazy to me. So at when this comes out, as mm-hmm. you're hearing this now at home, mm-hmm. it's been two weeks since Biden dropped out. But yeah. for us, it's 48 hours. The COVID, yeah, yeah, yeah. COVID, it supposedly had COVID. But right. Like, I, I thought that once he had COVID, I was like, oh, he's about to drop out. Oh, he's about to die. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody sent me, he said he was in hospice last night. This is what today, I don't know what today we're filming this, but. Today's Wednesday. I was like, T- Tuesday. My buddy sent me a thing. I was like, he's not in hospice, is he? He's like, I think so. I don't know. But I haven't seen it on news today, so it must have been fake. But um, yeah, he's, man, I'm like, for me, I'm like, if you're that eight, don't you want to chill, be on the beach, right. like hang out with their grandkids, like be on I the wouldn't have ranch? even run for the first time, bro. I'm, I'm like, bro, what do you? What is the, but human ego? I think the human ego. 
Yeah, that that's what they're like trying it. to say now is that like his benevolence of dropping out of the race shows how selfish Trump is. That's not going to resonate with Trump yeah, voters. You're not yeah. flipping a Trump vote. Yeah, yeah. It's like, at all. It's like, I'm like, bro, it's like, I'm like, that job is so stressful for, I don't know. I'm like, what are you getting out of that job? Like, like, but I guess it would be rich for the rest of your life. And Power. Be, yeah, yeah. The ego. I mean, the salary is only 400 grand a year. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Like, if you just got a job tomorrow and you were like, bro, I make 400 grand a year, I'd be like, sick, dude. Awesome job. Yeah. But f- to be the leader of the free yeah, yeah. world. Like, oh, 400,000. Like, okay, cool. Cool, cool. What do you, what yeah. do you have to do? Yeah. Uh, run the world. Run the, the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> run the whole world. I have to so make sure like... the uh, military industrial <laughs> complex doesn't murder me yeah. in my sleep. Yeah, and the guy at PepsiCo is making thirty million a year. The guy, the guy who's dealing with sodas. It's like, it's like, what, what you're doing now? You're running the world for four hundred thousand. Like, yeah. like, it's like, like senators make what, like one seventy five, but they retire with hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, and they're all like doing those, uh, making like stock moves, mm-hmm. like mysterious lucky stock moves that before. It, so lucky. They're like, oh, it's just a coincidence. I sold all of my stock before it, that. They have crashed. to report it. There's an app now that will trade with. Like, oh really? You can pick a senator and you can set your profile and it'll trade when the senator trades. Is there fine? Is that fine? Who's who's a lady that would Pelosi? Yeah, yeah. Her Pelosi husband. Yeah, Pelosi. Yeah, it's yeah. what a hundred times better than uh, who's that rich, super rich dude that eats at McDonald's every morning? Uh, the old guy, Warren Buffett. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Is he still alive? I hope so. Yeah, I think I, uh, Charlie Munger died. His his partner. Oh I think. wow, man! The <clears throat> weekend that uh, people took a pew pew at Trump. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Three yeah. people died. Uh, but it was Friday when I found out about uh, Richard Simmons. Uh, oh, yeah. And I was like, happens in threes. Yeah, Check yeah, it out. Yeah, and the yeah. people that I was having dinner with, they were like, no way. Yeah. I was like, okay. And then the next day it was Shannon Daugherty. And the next day it was like. Damn, man. 902 and 0, man. They're dropping. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did the, the, the Trump stuff was like interesting because I was like. Cause I think all the black people didn't want to believe it. They're like, this is a production. <laughs> like everybody, well, they're like, you know, it was like, a, then things kept happening. Like, oh, they got, oh, they got squibs. They got, clearly got blood squibs. Mm-hmm. This is uh really made you like, oh, they, oh, they killed it. Oh, oh, wow. They're really going into the production. And just happened to be an American <laughs> firefighting <laughs> hero. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I just talked about this on the last episode, oh, okay. but I don't give a shit. There's <laughs> too much shit going on. It was yeah. the first live broadcast of CNN, like live really? streaming. Uh, oh really Trump ever in history is the first time and it just happens to be a small town in pennsylvania small town. the building's owned by blackrock the, yeah, the yeah. shooter was in a blackrock commercial yeah 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 come on they can't they like they can't they, they can't cover like a 20-foot barn they saw <laughs> him like for a, five a minutes with a gun <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah 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 come on it's really well somebody wanted him gone <clears throat> besides that kid i don't know if he wasn't in on it somebody i think somebody that he I don't know if I want to. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I it's just too interesting. Yeah, it's way because I, I saw I, I saw an interview with a uh, a sniper. Yeah, and he was like, I mean, he's a sniper, he's professional, but he was like, it's like he's like they're like, is that a lo- is that far? He was like, eight hundred yards, I can do. Mm-hmm. He said that was one hundred and fifty yards. He's like, yeah. He said that they make like, movies so about the guy who dropped like, the dude from a mine. Yeah, exactly. It's like where you know those movies when the bullets like you're following yeah. the bullets like it's like going through like right. Yeah, uh, passing people <laughs> like shooter the movie. Yeah, shooter, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, like bend the bullet with yeah. your mind. Or the curve 140 to the earth. yards is only 20 yards longer than a football field with both end zones. Yeah. So if you're sitting like, in the opposing seats, yeah. you just got to shoot across the football yeah. field. Yeah, and that's like that's supposed to be like he's like, and I saw a guy said in the army you train at 500, 300, and 200. Mm-hmm. He's like, so 140 is like. It, He's like, it can't be that hard. That dude was twenty years old and with yeah. no training. Yeah, yeah. Other yeah, than yeah, just yeah, like yeah, shooting yeah, his whole yeah, life. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's uh it's interesting. Like the and I hear that there's some other coincidence about the um uh, Biden dropped out of a race, dropped out of dropped out of the race, and the last person to drop out of the race was Lynn La, La, was Linda Linda B. Johnson. Linda B. Johnson. But he came in, in six, after Kennedy, I think, yeah, in sixty eight. Yeah. And he had they and they in the the convention was in Chicago, and where's the convention this year? No, come on, yeah, true, dude. True, this true, season true. of Earth <laughs> sucks, bro. It's like it's a coincidence, a crazy coincidence. Yeah. It's funny, yeah. Like, so yeah, I saw a TikTok this morning I, that I reposted, and it was it's this guy playing both sides, but mm-hmm. it was like, what if you were gonna pitch the story of this year's political race uh, uh, as a movie? Oh yeah, and he was doing. So this person's the hero? No, he's an anti-hero. Yeah. Like, there's no heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, he gets yeah. to the end, and the tag is just like so. And then there's this other thing, and then he was like, "Get out of my office." <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I wonder if it's always been like this, but the 24-hour news cycle makes us just go like 
Yeah. Like, was think, it like this in the 80s? Yeah. I, I wonder. It's like probably less. Probably they could feed you more bullshit in the in the 80s because we're TikTok and like there's more. Now you can maybe it's for good or for worse, but you can get more people's opinions on like, like, you know, like yeah. I watch TikTok. I'll tell my dad, I'm like, I watch TikTok and I'm like, you have 100 people studying or thousands of people studying the same film or like, you know, or like. Yo, did you notice this? Like, and you put start putting everybody's like little tips. Like, mm-hmm. did you notice? Like, I was. I mean, I don't know. If could, this could be turned to a conspiracy podcast, but the, uh, I think it already did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Kate Middleton. Lips on that fucking video are are moving like AI. The the if you watch like, Kate Middleton's cancer thing. No, I haven't seen it. Yeah, but she announced she had cancer or whatever. Oh shit. But yeah, like, and she hasn't been seen in public in like nine months. And then she came out with a cancer statement by herself, which is kind of weird. And uh, if you close, if you do close up on the on their mouth, it's like moving like AI, and, yeah. and, her, and her thumbs are doing AI thing. Yeah, but you, but you look from far, it looks like a regular statement. Because you see it on TikTok all the time. You see a video of a girl yeah. dancing to a yeah, song, yeah, yeah. and then you see her mouth move weird. Yeah, you're like, you're someone like, oh, ripped this yeah. and put AI mouth yeah. movement on it. Yeah, it's it's really. I mean, I don't know how people are going to be able to tell anything in like twenty years. So no one's seen Kate in nine months. Yeah. She pops out. She made an appearance kind of supposedly, but she has a double apparently. Like I know it, it's 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 crazy, but she hasn't. Something was weird because she didn't show up. She had, she had a can. She said she had cancer. Whatever, blah, blah blah. She made a statement like in a on the in the palace or somewhere. Uh, but the thing is weird is like who makes that? She was wasn't with her kids. Wasn't with her husband. Right. If you make an whatever. announcement like that, who? Yeah. It's like you usually right have. Yeah. Especially if you're trying to be the palace, you're trying to show how strong the right. Whatever. Is she the one that moved to <clears throat> to California and got no? Like, that no. That's uh, Kate is the one who married to the, the, the old original. One. Yeah, the older one, the oh. one who went bald. And then the the redhead one is yeah, uh, they killed Prince. her ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think something sums up. She she been gone for so long. It's like you would at least like have her out. Like hey, but like the statement thing was like super fishy. Yeah, put her. Or maybe up. she's really sick. Who know? I don't know. But it's like something. There's, I I'm always I'm a big believer in like they're getting you ready to tell you something. Mm-hmm. They're like. Cause they got to ease you into it. It's like COVID when they're like, yeah. like, hey, we're gonna let you guys be locked up for two weeks. Let's see how it goes. Right. If it goes good, they all they already knew we we're gonna yeah. be inside for the next year. <laughs> right. They're like, but they can't tell you that. They go, hey, let's let's two test weeks. it out. Two it's weeks. Just two weeks. And if we see how if the if the numbers mm-hmm. drop, we'll let you guys back out. Right. Like, or if you revolt and start burning <laughs> yeah. shit to the ground, we'll be like, ah, we're just kidding. It's just a cold. <clears throat> yeah. They were testing us for something. Yeah. It was like it's 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 interesting. Like all this stuff. Uh, but I'm a big conspiracy guy. I love conspiracy. Yeah. I mean, most of my conspiracy theories are based off the fact that I have seen how flat the earth is <laughs> from space. He's like, yeah. I'm like, I always say the conspiracies are like, you won't know they're conspiracies until like you're old and you don't care. Yeah. They're like, hey, we're, listen- we're releasing all these documents from like something that happened 60 years ago. Right. And all the people who are alive for that shit don't really care who are still mm-hmm. alive and are like, Oh yeah, like oh yeah, like this really happened with Martin Luther King, or this really happened with Kennedy, or like yeah, you're like oh everybody's dead who like was saw, remember, remembers that happening, right? So. so I uh I was in Nashville two weeks ago. I was having dinner with this this lady I was working with. Her mom lived in Dallas or close to Dallas. Really during the JFK assassination, <clears throat> mm. and back then you would go to meetings live. There wasn't any you couldn't just tweet some shit. Yeah, so yeah. you would go to your party's meetings once yeah. a month or whatever. They, everybody in the party, I think it was the Republican Party, was warned not to go to the parade. Oh, really? She's like, my mom was there. She heard it, and nobody went. Wow. The people that were there were just like wow. other party yeah, or whatever. Really? Like, How did yeah. they know not to go? Yeah, this is turning into a conspiracy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's some interesting. I think a lot of stuff is way above our pay grade. So yeah, which I get. It's like, what's the what's something that if you found out tomorrow was like, oh, like that you wouldn't you wouldn't be surprised by. If Jesus was an alien. Okay. Okay. So, sorry. So, here's my theory. So, yep. so I've thought about this, actually. So, I'm like, what if all these, like, miracles and stuff were just, like, alien shit? Yeah. It's and an like, alien being like, wine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, it's like, I'm like, what, I'm like, what would that do to people's religion if they, if, if whatever, Jesus or whatever came back, if there was Jesus, like, came back and was like, I was like, what if he's just an alien? Would that change people's, like, belief? Mm-hmm. Like, uh. Or time travel, or, or if, this, if there is a god, like did he create aliens too? Mm-hmm. Did he have like he's, he's like oh he created man in his like image? Like did he create aliens in his image? Like you know like is everybody in it? Yeah, <laughs> and like it's like I don't know. So it's like the because I was always I would always say like that. Uh, I, I don't want to go the aliens. The aliens thing is like really interesting to me. I like I love right. alien stuff and like the our our fascination with trying to communicate with aliens. Mm-hmm. And I'm like I'm always like. 
why do you think you've been able to talk to an alien? Like, like the, the 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 logic is so crazy to me. They're like they're like, oh, they're they're so many millions of years more advanced than us. I'm like, you're more advanced than a worm, right? You can't go talk to a worm. That's true. I'm like, I'm like so it's like maybe they won't be able to talk and um. And I was like, then it's on them to talk to us. Yeah, exactly. And I'm yeah. like, what if I go? What if uh, uh we've been we've, we've been around dogs for a thousand years and don't know what the fuck they're saying? I'm like, how how are we going to be able to talk to an alien? And I'm like, so I, I don't know. That's a good point. But the, I think the interesting thing for me is that on a cellular level, the way atoms rotate around yeah, each other, yeah. is almost if you blow it up, it's the same as the universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yes, if, I agree. if our Earth started at the same time as an Earth a hundred bajillion light years away, mm -hmm. why wouldn't they progress? at the same pace yeah but they wouldn't necessarily have language the way we have. yeah yeah i was like what if what if right, here's a thought what if aliens came back one day ship big spaceship landed bay doors open alien walks off he looks around and he starts barking that's and funny and you'd be like god damn ain't this a bitch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, yo, it's like yo ain't this a bitch <laughs> it's like aliens barking burr, 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 burr. ain't this a bitch is so two times funny <laughs> especially bitch. if it's a dog <laughs> yeah yeah it's funny yeah yeah the double yeah yeah the entendre yeah That's it's like that yeah it's funny it's like so funny <laughs> you're like and you're like yeah he's like wait and they're like we left the dogs for you like here a couple thousand years ago right. you guys didn't learn shit what you did you did what they live inside now <laughs> It's like, yeah, we you, left the dogs to you guys and learn. You pick up their <laughs> shit with what? Yeah, we were, yeah. Yeah, we're trying to like, teach you guys how to speak to us. And you guys yeah. didn't, haven't learned shit in, in 3,000 years of being around dogs. <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody who's got a bark collar just instantly drops it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the alien's like, the alien uh, gets off the ship and he's like barking or whatever. And, and the people are like, I, I think he wants a treat. Right. <laughs> it's like, what's he saying? I don't know. I think he wants a treat. <laughs> the people who like make dog food, the corporations that make dog food end up ruling the world because <laughs> yeah, they exactly, control the food yeah, it's, supply. It's like, yeah, that's exactly. We coming for all your kibbles and bits. Oh, that's, dude. And the, sh <laughs> the ship looks big, but it's really just like. A yeah, 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 yeah. That's so. That's so random. I'm like, who knows what aliens sound like? They could be. That'd be funny if they barked though. I mean, barking is the funniest thing I can think <laughs> of right now. Yeah. They, 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 like it's like it's it's uh, or are you how jealous people would be if they like just spoke one language so they spoke Spanish and you're like, God damn it, <laughs> <laughs> like ain't this a bitch? <laughs> like we've been forcing English on the rest of the world for fifty years, yeah, and they, and and they show Portuguese. up speaking Portuguese. Yeah, you're like, God <laughs> damn it, <laughs> like it's like all, it's like only people, only people from only people from Brazil can like talk yeah. to them. They're like, and then you're like. What's Portuguese for? I fucking told you so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys thought English was going to be the, the language, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no. Oh, dude. <laughs> so funny. That's yeah, so it's funny. hilarious. That's so funny. Yeah, I don't know. It's, what, what's your, like, um, what's something you could f find out and it would, like, blow your mind or whatever? Man, I was so religiously programmed as a, as a mm. kid. So mm. it's similar. It's just like, you know, what religion? Uh, I was Christian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grew up going to Christian church, Baptist. If you want to put a, yeah. a label okay. on it, Baptist Presbyterian, South? Yeah. Southern Baptist, North uh, Carolina. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it wasn't like the church in the South that you think of, yeah, yeah, like yeah. no AC and small, people are small, no, about town. 150, 200 people. Okay, okay. So not small. We had and everybody kind of it was like the rich side of town, but we weren't the rich yeah, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you were you in Sunday school service or anything like that? Sunday school. So I went to private Christian school, yeah. which sounds fancy, but I went it's to Catholic not. school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So third to eighth grade, private Christian school. Mm -hmm. We had chapel every morning. Really? So yeah. church yeah. Monday through Friday at ten a.m. and then church on Sunday mo morning and night. Wow. Youth group before night church and then Wednesday night church. So I was getting ten doses of sitting in a Jeez. pew a week for like six oh, years. Oh, bored out of your mind. Yeah. yeah it's but cute. the funny thing is. And I hate saying the funny thing is because then if it's not funny, it's not funny. But yeah. uh, growing up, we had like kind of an older like Vietnam War veteran yeah. preacher. Really? Yeah. And he would tell the craziest stories from Vietnam. Really? So it would be like those are the ones I'd pay attention to. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, so we were in there. We were gunning them down. I was like, oh, <laughs> keep shooting. <laughs> but That's hilarious. yeah, grew up super religious. Um, I think my parents found religion later in life. They found mm. religion right before we, me and my sister were born. Mm. So they were like real into it really and uh um did they tithe or whatever yeah yeah oh really? yeah first 10 off tops really yep. first 10 percent wow. goes to the lord 
Man, yeah, the Lord's always, he picked a nice even number. That's right, 10%. <laughs> like, yeah. like, oh, Just yeah. move the decimal point. <laughs> move the decimal he's point like, for he, Jesus. He's like, oh, you know, it's funny. His, his, his rate hasn't increased. <laughs> I'm like, hey, inflation, inflation. times are hard. I'd like, I like to get 15% from everybody. I'd like that. that, that God, <laughs> God called. He's going to want half your check now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, look, you see an economy. Yeah. I, I need, I need, I need, uh, I need more than 10%. Yeah. I was talking to somebody the other day. I was like, how much more do you think? they think we have to give them as far as inflation goes they're squeezing oh. us so hard right now so i have a theory i think I like based on nothing theory is based on nothing i'm writing a book um so my theory is that all the money they gave us or they gave us during COVID, they're coming back for they it. want it back yeah they're coming back they're gonna get it through food through yeah. gas through whatever right. it's like all this like oh you thought you got an extra 2400 or whatever mm -hmm. 1200 whatever thing is oh we're gonna get that back but they got it back immediately yeah, 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 yeah. as soon as i got it i spent it on rent <laughs> you know all it did was go to the landowners yeah the, yeah, they, the landlords bro it, it, the groceries are so insane right now oh dude i remember being pissed if i went to a fast food place and a, a combo meal was more than five dollars oh my i place i was at wendy's and a like 15.97 for yeah. like a combo i'm like i spent that at jack in the box bro. the other day i was like jack in the box ain't worth bro. 17 dollars yeah. i need a server for that I, yeah. I, I, I need to sit down and like mm -hmm. yeah it's um it's really really um i did a thing I, it's getting so bad i got a i got a uh, incorrect order the other day i ordered food ordered i got an incorrect order i knew it was the wrong burger i took two bites just mm -hmm. to get two bites in and then gave it back I was like, because I was like, I'm trying to get my value out of this, out of this burger, mm -hmm. like that. Because I'm like, you don't want to spend that kind of money, out of, out of. It's just crazy. Like I'm like, I'm like, do I should I go buy steak? Like like, right. do I do this or go buy? A, yeah, it's like I could make a steak dinner at home for very for like ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Right, I did taco night and bought the ingredients and it was sixty seven dollars. And I go, I just, just went to a food truck. Like like yeah. I'm thinking, oh like you know, because it was like, oh you can do. It's like bowling used to be like cheap. Yeah, now it's the most expensive yeah. <laughs> activity on the yeah, planet. Like, yeah, you do bowling for four people is like, oh you're yeah. gonna spend like a couple hundred dollars. Girls like, like take me bowling. Yeah. I'm like, bitch. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, the things at the grocery store like are getting insane. Like it's, it's yeah. They they've um, I saw some guy on like TikTok who did like a Walmart. She had a shopping, uh, like. I guess you can order stuff online and then like repeat that order like late so you yeah. can go to your old orders so again the order was like 120 dollars back in like 2018 or 2019 mm -hmm. and now he tried to repeat the order and it was like 250 something dollars like ridiculous it's like doubled yeah it's like that's what they're squeezing but and they're sh shrinking bags that's like the shrink it you know shrinkflation right they're shrinking a lot of bags shrinking like waters like making them a little bit like this is that's even smaller tiny. like they, they yeah. it, it's like 20 20 floor 20 ounces and it used to be probably 24 mm -hmm. or something like that but you don't notice it's like little yep but you do this a million times you save a lot of money yeah save a lot of liquid i've been seeing this tiktok lately that, and it just keeps coming and coming it's like Bef when Americans were all skinny back in the mm. 40s, 50s, and 60s. Yeah. And then the introduction of corn seed oil into everything we eat, it was engine mm. oil. Wow. They were like, oh, they can eat this. It's made out of wow. corn. And then, like, the obesity level yeah. just goes through the roof. Your body's like, what the fuck are you putting in yeah. me? Yeah. And everything that's uh, low fat mm. is high sugar. Oh. Uh. Sugar is cancer fuel. Wow. Yeah. I, was, I, I just listened to the di diary of CEO, mm -hmm. like the podcast, like the guy talking about like sugar and glucose and like how it's like, killer. Yeah. Like fructose is like this killer. It's nuts. And they put it in everything. Bre I was trying to write bread the other day. I could not find bread that didn't have sugar added. I was mm -hmm. like, why are you adding sugar to bread? Like, they add, yeah. they addicted to, they get us addicted. There's one and it's on the top shelf and it's $8 Ezekiel? a loaf. Ezekiel? What is it? Ezekiel. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's all that Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start to go to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. That's yeah. been like my new. It might be worth it to spend more on groceries now yeah. and not be sitting in a hospital bed yeah. in like forty years. Yeah, to, yeah, because it's crazy that that's like only the the only option. Like Ezekiel and Ezekiel's Christian. They got like Bible verses on the. Yeah, that's why they I didn't even know that. <laughs> Notice yeah. the other day I was in there. I was like, oh, it's just like a uh, a religious like you mm -hmm. know yeah, Ezekiel thirty nine or something. Whatever. It's crazy. There's some places like you don't know they're a christian until you like pick up the cup and they got like john 316 yeah like, in and out's yeah, yeah, got a bible yeah. verse under the cup really i didn't yeah. know that mm -hmm. yeah that's crazy in and out yeah in and out's uh i guess in and out they just raised their prices a little bit too i, I mean, mean a little bit not too bad but like they raised it like they kept they, they held out for as long as they could they got 75 people working there yeah it's like a it's like a city inside right i have a theory that they not only do they have a, a bunch of people working inside mm. but that line 
half those cars are people they paid to just sit and go through the line. <laughs> I thought about that paying people to come sit at your restaurant to make it look like his pack is is jumping. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty smart. The it's like hiring background on a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like and they they're smart. They don't let the, the workers can't shirk as you learn in economics. They can't like uh, fuck off like times because they they put windows where you're making you got to make potatoes in front of the people in the mm-hmm. in the drive through. Oh yeah, nobody's <laughs> sitting in the back smoking a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. not, you gotta you, you drive through and looking at people make potatoes and yeah. stuff and doing all the work and stuff. It's like oh, we're gonna make sure you guys don't fuck off time because yeah. everybody's gonna be looking at you and you're on camera. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. hear about? I forgot what restaurant it was. There was a manager of a restaurant that was going on Tinder. And he was booking dates with people, oh, yes. but then not showing up. But then the women would show yeah. up and order stuff. So smart. He did it to like 100 women. Yeah, yeah. It's so smart, man. It's like I did, people are getting creative. They're like, yeah. I'm, I got to try to get people to I got to keep my job. I need these single ladies oh, in here. Oh, that's so, so funny. And that's wild. And the, um, I'm trying to think if somebody stood me up, would I stay and eat? I don't think I would leave. But I guess if you're waiting, you're trying to get a drink, maybe a beer. It depends on the restaurant. Yeah. Right? What about, uh, like I was at, uh, somebody, where's the girl? I have girls that stood me up before. I've had a girl stand me up before years ago at like a, a bar. I waited there for 45 minutes. Mm. 45 minutes. She was like, she, and she wouldn't technically like, she wouldn't, <laughs> she kept the dream, dream alive. She kept being like, I'm hey, there. sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. Almost like, blah, blah. And I'm like sitting there like, is she going to come? Like, right. they, you're like, oh, you're like, I don't want to get in my car. And she goes, hey, I'm, I'm here. Where you at? You know? Then they got to 45 minutes and I'm 50 minutes and I was like, all right, I got to go. Like, I just get my dignity. I was like, I'm going to be so mad when she gets here that it won't even be a good date. Right. Like, I got to go. Have you ever gone on a first date that's mm-hmm. gone well, mm-hmm. but between the first date and the second date decided you don't want to see her anymore mm-hmm. and then gone, oh, I, I got to break the second date. Yeah. How do you do it? Um, I think, I don't know. That's a good question. I, 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 I try to be a little bit more... Maybe I'll say, hey, it's not the right time or something like that. Like, because the truth is, whenever somebody makes an excuse for why they don't, they don't, they don't, don't want to meet with you or whatever. But like, my life, I'm busy. It's all a lie. It just, it be, not, it's not a lie. It's just like you aren't important enough for me to give up these things. Like, you know, right? You know, if some girl says like, I, I remember a girl telling me one time she was at Hot Topic. She was like, I'm so busy right now. I'm like, you work at Hot Topic? You got another job? She goes, yeah. No. I'm like, was she the manager? No, she was just working on <laughs> Hot Topic, telling me she was. I was like, oh, you still want to hang out? Just say you don't want to hang out because right. I feel like it's people. Like, <laughs> people are more rude trying not to be rude. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. I'm like, bro. Oh, I'm like, Obama's probably getting back to people. Like, hey, you know, yeah. and yeah. you, you know, somebody works at you know, Denny's is probably like, oh, I'm so busy right now with everything. Yeah, I'm like four o'clock tea time. Yeah, I remember. So we used to do back in the day, my friends. We would, uh, some friends. We would so petty and so immature, we were like in our twenties, and then we would like. Uh, Girls would stand us up and be like Hollywood, very Hollywood chicks out there, uh, stand us up and we would um, we would hit them up to like the next day or next couple days after they stand us up and like say we got Laker tickets and see how uh, fast they reply. Yeah. Hey, you are you a fan of I don't know if you're a fan of the Lakers. Yeah. I love the Lakers. Yeah. Wait, yeah. All right, tickets uh, tomorrow tonight. You want to go tonight? Five o'clock game. Blah blah. blah. They're like, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that my sounds friend so let me fun. His Lambo. Yeah, it's like I'm like. Then you just go ghost on them. The best is when those dudes on on TikTok and YouTube are like, they go up to a girl and like, "Hey, what's up? Mm. How you doing?" And they just talk on the street, yeah, 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 yeah. and they're like, "No, thank you. I have a boyfriend." And then they get in the Lambo, and they're yeah. like, "Wait, is this your car?" <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's always funny. But I don't know. It's 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 like uh, it's interesting in people's value system and mm-hmm. like what they like think. You know, I I think so many times women associate money with safe and with. Mm-hmm. Things I'm like this dude can still be crazy or still be an asshole or still right. like treat you like terrible, but I think sometimes they think the money is gonna like like it's like a if he worked this hard at this thing he must be a good person or something like that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting because like I've always felt less than when talking to like ladies in clubs or whatever because I don't have a pile of cash. Yeah, you know, yeah, you can't back it up. You're like, oh, right. like, but then yeah, you yeah. hang out with your single but single finance buddies yeah. and they're like, oh, I don't need to settle down and get married. Yeah. Because I can get that one and that one and yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, because it's like it's like the um, you're only as good as your options. Yeah, I guess like people get yeah. people like to get swept off their feet. And, people like free things. That's yeah. what it comes down to. Mm-hmm. People like free things, and they will they will sometimes forget about their morals or forget about their their standards for free. You yeah. know, like it's like oh okay, like I don't really like this guy, but he's gonna take me to Taylor Swift concert and got VIP and like mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. Like what's the you know whatever. Like, yeah. 
It's like, but if it was a, you know, different levels of prostitution, it's just not yeah, money exchange. Yeah, exactly. It's not like a straight up like here. Yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, it's like it's a, not a, sex great for point. cash. It's sex for a thirteen hundred dollar Taylor Swift yeah. ticket. Yeah, in the back row, flying out to flying you out somewhere. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, the flight rule is crazy. It, right, it's right. You'll find a good deal on a flight. You'll Dude. be on Spirit Airlines. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you brought baggage. <laughs> That's not, that wasn't in the. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna eat. Burger King tonight. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, you're, this, there's a dating app called Raya. Oh yeah, and Raya, they can, if you're Raya, it connects you with people, women, or for me, but like, or in different cities. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it's not just like L.A. So you can't just pick like, oh, L.A. Mm. per se. It'll throw like a Spain in there, a New York, a yeah. Miami girl. Are like, they on travel mode? Are they looking for people in L.A.? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. what? I'm like, what is these hookers? Like, right. what's the what's gonna happen? Like, I, but I guess you're rich. You're like just flying girl, flying a uh, putang out to you. Like, I'm like, you live in Spain. Yeah. What are you gonna come here for three days or four days? I'm supposed to fly you. Like a guy's supposed to fly the girl. And I'm like, what? What's 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 this app about? Like, what? Especially not. You would have to Facetime me before I buy your Spanish flight to L.A. And I'm not even. Yeah. You're not coming to my house. We're gonna be yeah. on beach somewhere. That's I mean, like, but it's like I'm. That's that has to be like a great great selling point for some girl. Like, hey, I'll fly you to my country. Like, like if, you yeah. get to see America, or you get to see Spain, or you get to see Brazil, or whatever you're from. Like, if you're flying like that, you're only seeing the ceiling. That's it. You're gonna see dinner yeah. in the ceiling, and you're gonna be back on the plane. Yeah, I mean that, that that that's a scary. That's scary to buy somebody a ticket and like you show up at the maybe you, show, you wait at the airport they don't get on the flight or. But I think if you're at that level, you're sending the jet, right? You're not yeah, going like, hey, yeah, here's a yeah, Delta yeah. economy yeah. ticket. Yeah, I, I like, heard Frank Sinatra do that. Like when he dated, um, what's her name? She was in the Marilyn Monroe. No, um, that scary movie. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Anyway, um, he dated his actress, his famous actress. She was much younger than him. And their first date, he he was you know he lived in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Let's we should catch a movie sometime." She was like, "Okay." He's like, "What are you doing?" Like I don't know, like Wednesday or whatever. And she's like, "Okay, I could do Wednesday." And he's like, "Great, I'll send a plane for you." And like had her go to like the, I don't know Burbank Airport or Van Nuys or something. Flew private, had a pilot fly her, and she's like, "But my at first she said she couldn't go because she has a cat." She's like, "I gotta watch my cat or something." He's like, "Bring the cat." Yeah, brought the cat on the so she's on a plane to Palm Springs, just a private jet. <laughs> with her and the cat to meet him and he rented out a movie theater and then he had the date didn't even push up on her she just goes okay thank you have a good night blah, blah. put her back on the plane mm -hmm. to la panties wet she's like she's just he's yeah. like oh she was like i was what are you gonna do here's a towel <laughs> Yo, yeah what are you he's like i didn't even put, he's like oh just chill have a good night yeah. yeah like i'm like wow she said he would um she said she learned to uh, mia farrow that's right oh okay he said she would learn to uh start bringing her passport on dates because he would be like sometimes him and the guys would be all the drunk and they're like let's go to london yeah and like middle of the night they've been out drinking to do and they're like crazy go to london they're drinking on the plane mm -hmm. or whatever and then they land in london morning party i'm like what a life london for lunch and then yeah, let's okay. get back to sleep it off on the plane exactly, home yeah, yeah. that's, like, that's wow. nuts i i will i used to take my passport card but that's only going to get you into the clubs and stuff like that it's going to get you into wow. mexico and mm. canada but not on a flight Oh, I didn't know the passport card. I never seen it. You that. can't fly with it. Really? No, it, it's an extra twenty bucks when you get your passport. Oh. But now, like, I'll take my passport on the road. Oh. Because if we get to the a Monday and the headliner's like, "There's some shit going down in Canada. We're all going." It's like, uh, yeah, you got to go. That's let's, smart. Let's if he's paying. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got. Yeah, I'm on. Hey, let's go. There's some guys touring right now that are like, "Eh, it's only two days between now and the next run, and we're on the East Coast. Let's just stay. Yeah, or let's go to." Let's go to England for the for yeah, two days while we're yeah. off. Like, yeah, that's a day. He's like, let's do it. Like, yeah, yeah. Instead of going yeah. home and that flight, like we could take a six hour flight back to LA or yeah. take a six hour flight to London. Do you <laughs> want to be the guy that has to stay in a motel six for two days on the East Coast oh, while everybody yeah. else goes yeah. to Cuba? Yeah. <laughs> and all you had to do was put a piece of paper in your book bag. Like, what's the worst thing happening? You it's lose it. Cuba, it's a Cuba, like cigars and stuff. Yeah. Like that. They're Tommy FaceTiming Bomb you hat. back at a Motel 6 in Baltimore. They're like, how's it going, asshole? <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is the Coke machine working? <laughs> yeah. Coke machine. yeah. Yeah, the Coke machine's working. Oh, oh yeah. The Cuba, yeah, Cuba would be. I, I, wonder if, I wonder if drugs are in Cuba like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. Dude, I was hanging out with uh, an actor that... Uh, uh, you wouldn't know his name, but you'd know his face mm -hmm. the other day. Mm -hmm. And just in a bar, mm -hmm. in front of everybody, yeah. just kablurk, 
with a really? key and i was like hey wow. go to the bathroom wow that's that's a different kind of like safety you feel if you're like or, or yeah. recklessness i yeah. should say he's like i looked around yeah. no one's looking at me i'm like <laughs> everyone like, in here like, is security? looking yeah. at you wow that's like yeah it's, i've uh i remember i saw like andy dick do something like that oh, he's crazy. Crazy. yeah is he he used to be bananas you see him at it, it was used like to be yeah yeah, yeah. i don't <laughs> want to be in the same room with that guy oh my god that guy's intense like, I saw him like doing that stuff in front of his his uh, son. Uh uh-uh. Time and I'm like, wow, yeah. this guy's like. His son was like, I think his son was like 21 or something like that. But yeah. it was like, I was like, oh, this dude's different. He's a different kind of dad. Yeah, he's oddly weirdly friends with Zendaya. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. We were doing a music video for her one time, and he just shows up, and hangs out with mom. It's like really? starts like fucking with the set. I'm like, really? ah, really? just causing problems. Bro. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> he's so funny. He's like. And he was so good on the, it was a newsroom or what's that show? News radio with Joe Rogan? Yeah, he was so good on that show. Super funny. Like, I'm like, this dude's a, you can see how talented he is. Yeah, yeah. But we all have our demons. So when you, uh, this is a two-part question. Mm -hmm. One, what's your definition of comedic success? We'll end on this. Yeah. Comedic success. And then two, when you achieve that level of success, how big is your team? Like, who's on the road with you? I think my definition of comedic success is I make more than my father makes. That's like not a lot, you know, like whatever he makes, like whatever, whatever his best year is, I want to make more than that. Mm-hmm. Just doing comedy. And I think that, um, and mine's like, um, you know, what's weird. My definition of success is like, it sounds so stupid. Like to be able to go to restaurants and not look at the menu price, no yeah. matter, no matter what, I don't need that crazy of money. Just like where I'm in that level. We're like, mm-hmm. oh, cool. with friends, whatever, not a big deal. Like whatever order. Not where I'm like, you know, uh, where I can where I can hear the specials and really listen. Right. <laughs> and you're like, a lot of times you're hearing the specials and you're like, there's no way I'm getting this. When you say yes, <laughs> and they're like, to which one? You're like, yes. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah. I used to work at a restaurant and the guy, uh, I worked at a nice restaurant and I'll never forget this guy. He came, he was on a date, nice suit, all this stuff. And then uh, the girl's really pretty. And I came up to him and I was like starting my spiel, like, oh, blah, blah, blah. We got special, blah, blah, blah. And he's uh he goes he goes hey like like in a in a nice way he goes hey he's like whatever you think and I'm like what do you what do you mean he's like oh, he let you order for him yeah he's like whatever whatever you think I'm like anything he goes anything I go amazing all right so yeah. I'm like it's lobster lobster <laughs> like, yeah. all the shit I want I would like ribeye ribeye it's lobster yeah. and he ordered stuff and he was like and then he goes give me your and he's like yeah, it's like a Japanese so he's like give me your best sake I was like are you sure it's like it's like six hundred bucks and he's like it's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm like, gee, and then so he ordered it was stuff. I come drop the bill off. The bill was expensive, and w- he didn't even look at me, not in a bad way, but like he was talking to a girl, just like asking her a question. Like, yeah, he's like, slide me the black card. Thanks. And like, da, 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 huge yeah. tip. I'm like, that is the most baller player. I'm like, that's that's nice. I was like, oh yeah. man, that's cool. Though. I do that on dates. <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, 65 plus 13, <laughs> yeah, yeah, four yeah. of those drinks. And I'm, t- I'm smiling and I'm just- I, Transfer money, yeah. let me transfer some I'm, money. I mean, I owe it anyway. That's funny. What's the point of looking at it? Yeah. Know? And I think my uh, team, I guess, ideally on the road would be like, I don't know, like three or four people. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. Like three or four people would be like enough. Uh, um. Yeah, I I I, I, I want to. I'd also be cool to have a photographer. Yeah. I see, think. now we're talking as a photographer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that'd be. So, I think that's the dopest thing when somebody has, you have a photographer who's like also your buddy. You hang out, and but he's also getting these cool, candid yeah. like shots. That they go, oh man, like black and whites and all this kind of all yes. this cool stuff. Like, because I think what I'm assuming is that you already have a videographer, and you're you're saying you yeah, want yeah, 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 a yeah, dedicated yeah, 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 yeah. photographer. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. baller. Yeah. I only know one guy who does it. His name is Matt Rife. Oh, and, yeah, he's smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's because like. And and also too, this stuff is gonna be you know it's some of the stuff is fleeting. You're gonna be hot yeah. for blah blah. So you want to look back one day and be like, man, flip through your own coffee table book. Like, I remember that show. Yeah, yeah. Because especially if you're traveling a lot, it has to all like blend. Where you like, I don't know if yeah. that was in Nebraska or if I was in Wisconsin yeah. or or like yeah or Jersey. It does. You're like, I don't know where I was at. Yeah, yeah. Like the only way I can even keep track of my last year is that we would do a theater weekend and then a club weekend. 
Uh, and then a theater weekend and a club weekend. And then yeah. we were only out three weekends a month. So uh, we'd stay home and rest. Mm. So it's like, oh, was that Portland or was yeah, it? Yeah, you're like, where, where were we? Theaters. At? Yeah. You'll never be able to pick a theater out of a whole bunch of other theaters. Wow. They all look exactly the same. You wow. start trying to go to the dressing room, it's always in a different spot. Yeah. But and the weird thing that'll trip you out is when you go to a theater for the second time with a different artist. Mm. You're like, wait a minute. It's like, it feels like, well, like, day you're like, wait. You're like, wait. Like yeah, you're like yeah. This looks familiar. This green room looks familiar. Yeah. You're like oh okay yeah 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 yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I just can't wait to go there and sell my own tickets. Yeah, that's always a yeah. That's like that dream. That that would be so amazing. I've I've never performed in a theater, but I think I have like a theater. You'd love it. You'll absolutely love it. I think I have a theater. I have a theater on my phone. Yeah, I have a, this theater on my phone that I'm like a goal of is like that. In is that the in Nashville? Uh. No, what's the fame? The Ryman. Might be. I, I don't I don't know where I forgot where I even got this theater picture, but I was like My phone's over there, I have a theater picture on the screen too. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's I'm my, like it's gold. my uh, gold. camera case in an empty theater. Really? It's Paps Theater in, in Milwaukee. Uh yeah, I don't I, I forgot I, I knew I'd pick this theater for a reason, but anyway, yeah, I was like You're gonna, gonna sell that theater out in the next two years. That's right, yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful yeah, lighting that's too. Right, that's, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So that's a goal. That's yeah. subconscious. David Murphy. All right. Thank the, you. The Murph. Thank you so much. You're Thank amazing. Thank you for being here. This is a great conversation. The, yeah. That was the fastest hour I've ever had on the show. Yeah, I love it. Second it was, fastest. It was, there was one guy that's better than you. Really? Really? I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. I'm like, yeah. Who's no, we got to start we, over. We got to kill him. We got to yeah. find him and kill him. I'm trying to think of who I would uh, murder yeah, yeah. from being on the show. Um, tell everybody how they can find you. Uh, just at my name is Murph on social media, on like TikTok and on uh, the Instagrams. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I don't really do uh, Twitter or whatever, X or whatever. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah. Too, but you're too, a good follow. Like, you post funny shit. It's not always stand up, but it's like you have a. Yeah, I've been trying to yeah. like put it. Last like two months, I've been like trying to put out like a clip, something every day, just something like. Yeah. Because I realize that's the only way to like. Because like, I realize the people who follow you are not going to be your friends. <laughs> No, it can be like it can be like so you're gonna you're gonna annoy those people who know you, and then the regular the, the people who really are fans of you will start to like follow you and like yeah. and be support and stuff like that. So, but you yeah. call your, and text your friends. Yeah, yeah exactly. Your friend, exactly. You're not gonna make a career yeah. uh, out of your friends being your fans. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. So like, I realize that. So I'm like, I'm starting to put yeah. a lot of stuff out. That's when my friends are like, Oh man, I listen to your podcast. I'm like, Don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, like need, that. I don't like, need one dude. I yeah. need a hundred thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I exactly. mean, I appreciate the sentiment. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, and I appreciate you guys listening and watching. Um, please follow David. He's very funny. I love I, I when I'm shitting in the morning. I love catching him in the scroll. Um, <laughs> thanks, thanks. I appreciate that. And check out some other episodes. Let us know what you think. Leave us a comment. Do all that shit. I hate saying it, but and everybody tunes out by now. Um, we will. <laughs> Uh, thank you yeah thank you thank you for having me yeah it's amazing please come back time. i want a rotating regulars yeah, instead yeah. of like a chelsea handler kind of thing yeah instead of like a I, new person every yeah, day. yeah I, I love this place it's awesome. amazing <laughs> thank you again all right thank and you and we'll see you next time everybody this show's a piece of shit